convince the Germans they have my birthday wrong. If it was only me, I'd just take my happy pills and sleep through the end of the world. But I promised. I promised Percy I'd keep him safe while we were in Germany. You promised to help me get to the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> the one in the parade on Apple Home. How would you even get to it? You can't even go to Maidenholm. They shut that bridge down last week. No. You're right. You're always right. Ever seen one of these? What does it do? Have at the fog, yes. <laughs> but supposing you took this to the bridge to Maidenholm, and supposing you told the bobbies you were there to fix the bridge works, it might uh, enhance your credibility. And from Maidenholm, I can get to Appleholm. And Appleholm has the only bridge out of Wellington Wells. See? <laughs> Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Well then, see you on the other side. I'd rather doubt that. <laughs> Adieu, Artie. Good luck.
Sweet dreams, Arthur. Have you been sleeping all right? You'd be amazed what you did. Thank you. 
At least we have our memories, right? You never see the postman, do you? But the world mail... Lovely day for it. Unfortunately, the bridge is not open at this time. It was working just a minute ago, but the door is broken again. You'll have to wait until it's up again. Do you ever let anybody in? Oh, yes. There's someone in there now. And in the past month? Well, in the past month. Ah! Oh, there's a chap in there right now. You don't really want anyone back from the Garden District, do you? Well, my wastrel friend. No one goes off their joy can actually take joy. I mean, would you? Everybody feels better if that door stays broken. You, us, everybody. Well, Constable Wright, I suppose now I can tell Central why the bridge keeps breaking down. Central? Ever seen one of these? Oh, bugger me. Y you're not some sort of undercover bridge inspector. This device detects structural irregularities using shortwave radar. But I don't think it will show me the real problem. Will it, Constable Wright? Look, sir, you can fix that door, but them wastrels still ain't gonna take that joy. It makes them see eyes everywhere. That's not for you to decide, is it? No, sir. The, the, the maintenance hatch is that way, sir. I, I, I'd be grateful if you forgot this conversation ever, ever happened. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. There you are. Lovely day for it. Oh, bugger. If I really was from Central, I'd have the card, wouldn't I? There is another way, though, isn't there? Jack before he was Uncle Jack. I, I, I Please take a number and sit down. There's nobody else here. Please take a number and sit down. No, uh, just rest in my feet. Number two. Welcome to the rehabilitation centre. Actually, I'm just a sort of undercover bridge inspector from Central. See this device? Uh, it detects structural. It... Then you should have no trouble passing the test, should you? Please head through the door there and begin your rehabilitation. Deposit your personal belongings into this box, retaining only your clothes. Please continue to the decontamination room.
please discard your clothes. Don't worry, you will be provided with new, proper clothes after decontamination. Now, if I was Percy, I'd just go promenading about wondering why everyone was staring. I never did quite grasp what's so important about wearing clo clothes. Judging. Don't you look wonderful? Please proceed to the next room. In case there is any residual odor of the garden district on you, please enjoy this refreshing scent of country flowers. Get ready for the most important moment in your rehabilitation. Please take your favorite flavor of joy. Vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry. I must insist that you not traverse the beams of the joy detector without taking your joy, sir. Oh, damn it! They were serious about taking my joy, weren't they? Lovely day for it. Right as rain. Right as rain. Happiness is a choice! Bob's your uncle! All right. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Lovely day for it. Please head into the theatre and take a seat. And now it's time for the Uncle Jack Etiquette Minute. You may be wondering, how can I fit in better in Hamlin Village? Well, it's easy. To get along, go along. If someone tells you it's a lovely day, agree with them. <laughs> because of course, it's always a lovely day in Hamlin Village. So don't be afraid of talking to people first. They'll appreciate it. Now, I'm assuming, of course, that you're decently dressed. Eh? Clothes make the man, eh? 
Indeed, naked people have almost no influence at all in society. <laughs> and don't dress in rags either, or people might think you're a wastrel. Now, what should you do if people are staring at you? Maybe they're asking you if you remember to take your joy. Who cares? Just pop another and they'll congratulate you and go on about their day. And if things seem to be getting a bit hectic, remember, you can always sit on a bench, relax and open the Hamlin or Quran. Take a load off. No one will bother you when you're sitting on a bench. Unless you've made them very angry. Well, <laughs> or, I don't know, watch Jack Worthing on television. I, he's very good. <laughs> well, I'm afraid we've come to the end of our time. Tune in tomorrow for another Etiquette Minute with Jack Worthing. That's me. Isn't Uncle Jack wonderful? Now, please proceed to the third floor, where you will be tested on what you've just relearned. Just a friendly reminder. Uncle Jack don't mention it, but a word to the wise. Proper decent people. Don't like people what is running, don't mind me. jumping, Just crouching, a bit of a sit -down. spying, sneaking, breaking or entering. Such like behaviours is what we associate with downers. Avoid them and we shan't have disagreements.
mission. We want you to succeed. Mrs. Sackville, your question, please. If you want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers, B. Talk about old times, C. Stop staring at me, why is everything staring? Oh, for heaven's sake, I'm not going to do this again. How do I get out of here? Are you ready to behave? Now, our five guest questioners are going to ask you one question each. All you have to do is show us that you understand how to behave yourself in Wellington Wells. Mr. Cashier, what question do you have for our prodigal son or daughter? If you want to fit in, you should. A. Say hello to everyone you meet. I got you do. B. Visit people's houses, whether they're there or not. See, the eyes, the eyes. If you 
want to make friends with me, should you A. Give me flowers. B. Talk about old times. C. Stop staring at me. Why is everything staring? Rest in my feet.
may I express my delight that you passed the examination, sir? We've not had as many as we'd hoped, sir. Not as many at all. And yet, they say the unexamined life is not worth living. Well, sir, welcome back. Oh, and in case your rustication has been of long duration, please bear in mind there is now a nocturnal curfew. Best be indoors after nightfall, sir. Lovely day for it. got to get to St. George's home and then into the parade. Except that I need a letter of transit to get into the parade, like the one I left on my desk in the parade. How do I get a new one? Wait, the old government printing office was on Maidenhall. Maybe I can break in and steal some blanks. Day for it. All right. Aren't we dressed up all fancy? <laughs> Lovely weather. Don't you just love the smell of mottoline? It's so modern. All right. I learned a new patty cake routine. Do you want to try it? Should clear up soon, I imagine. I learned a new patty cake routine. Lovely weather. Did you hear? You the circus try? is coming to town. Couldn't be better, thanks. All right. All right. Right, oh. Lovely day for it. Did you hear? They've caught Foggy Jack. He's in They eat thistles and nestles every chance they get. But I don't suppose you're a gorilla. And if you are, well, you're hiding it very well. And rather... There you are. I'm going to take Banzai lessons. Of course, artichokes are basically monstrously large thistles. But you already know about artichokes. This isn't an artichoke. It's not even a thistle. It's a nettle. Should clear up soon, I imagine. Did you hear? Foggy Jack got another one. Last night. Best stay in.
Lovely day for it. Lovely day for it. A joy detector. So someone's finally made a religion out of Simon Says. Well, I suppose they all are, really. Wait a second. The winner gets a medal. And I'm not less suspicious looks, I bet. You can trust a man who wins at Simon Says, can't you? That'll never work, Arthur. You'd be up against people who devote their lives to Simon Says. You have to see who wins and then take the medal from them. Well, that's a plan, I suppose. Are you here for the Simon Says? I'm sorry, dear. We're full up. Why don't you come back next week? Oh, if you see Nick Lightbearer, would you let him know we're waiting for him? We've been waiting for him for ever so long. He's supposed to call the tune. Are you here for the Simon Says? Oh. Lovely day for it. Right as rain, right as rain. Peepers patrolling the park. I should snoop around a bit. Well, that feels entirely too good. Life for noise, pop a joy. I only want to help you feel better. Just uh, watching the day go by.
someone there. You won't get away with it. And when he woke up, he realized it had all just been a bad dream. their strong boxes and they took their bread out of their stone ovens. Everything they'd been afraid of the rats eating, they took out. But as the villagers were settling down to drinking, Pied Piper returned and he told the people, and now it is time to clean the pipe. The villagers, they will Snug as a bug on a drug. lingering ways to go.
Is this Mr. Lightbearer's house? Please take a step back. Mr. Lightbearer deserves his privacy like anyone else. Can't have people knocking him up at all hours. See, I have a very important proposition for him. Did you not understand me? We cannot enjoy the fruits of his genius without allowing him to depart from the mundane in his habits. Now bugger off! When should I come back? I cannot say when he'll be receiving his fans. Mr. Lightbearer has been a bit antisocial of late. Honestly, he's had me worried. These musical geniuses have a tendency to flare out and he's shone so very, very bright. No. Now, your best bet is to go to the Simon Says competition at St. Genesis. He's called in a chain, you see. If he ever gets out of bed. <laughs> <laughs>